Hello. I wanted to film my three videos today. I was set and determined to. And this side of my face is still so swollen that I can't like smile that way. I mean, I can, but it hurts. And it, can you see how puffy my cheek is and I have a big bruise right here? And I didn't want to film three videos without smiling because like, what would that be without my smiling energy? I mean, you guys might not care, but like I care because I like seeing myself be happy and I, I have fun filming and I smile when I'm filming. Uh, so I can like smile this way, but this one is too swollen. So I'm postponing that until Sunday because hopefully the swelling will be more reduced, less pain. Right now it's just weird because like, you can taste things like healing and it's interesting. I can only open my mouth like this far. So it's hard to eat. I don't mind the pain, to be honest. I don't like, I'm fine with pain. Um, I can manage that. And since I can't take acetaminophen, my pain medication options are so limited and the naproxen did nothing because it was like more in my sinuses. So all up here hurts so bad but it's okay. So I've just been chilling with my nephew this morning. Had an urgent recall for my Jeep airbags. My level of procrastination, some of you guys challenged me. I got the recall two years ago and I'm taking it in today. I took my Jeep in this morning. I am not proud, I am ashamed. Finally, my dad was like, Brittany, you can like get cuts in your face of whatever's coming out of there. And I was like, okay, I should probably do it. So I took that in and I'm just using today as like a catch up day to relax. It's probably a good thing I got my tooth out so I can have some time to just sit and not really do much of anything at all. Should have been filming this whole clip with the laptop on. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care about the pain. It's just more so eating. I'm afraid of things like getting stuck there. And like, I'm afraid of my risk for dry socket is almost none because it's the upper. And also it was like erupting on the side. So like the hole is more on the side than in the bottom. But I drink everything through a straw 24 seven. So I miss straws the most. <laughs> and then, um. You can probably hear Lincoln's footsteps upstairs. Just my jaw and cheek are really, really sore, but it's not too bad overall. So I'm just hanging out and getting some videos planned and all my stuff prepared for filming Sunday so that it goes quickly because I have a live show to do Sunday as well. I wanted to get out for a bike ride this weekend, but I'm also catching up on Breaking Bad because one of my good friends, I talked him into watching it and he's finished it all now. And so now I have to catch up so that I could talk to him about it. I did start Demon Slayer and I fell asleep. So I have to restart it. And then I wanna rewatch Castlevania. So those are the plans. I am going to get some reading done today too, but right now I just feel hungry cause it's hard to eat. This was a really pointless check-in I feel like. I'm still laying here in bed. I've gotten up to eat and it was terribly hard to eat. <laughs> and I'm so hungry, but eating is too hard. Um, so I finished this lovely fruits basket. Well, I'm still watching Breaking Bad. Honestly, the last couple episodes of season four, I think I'm on six or seven right now. I haven't been overly impressed with, but Fruits Basket. I think the, the reason I realized I loved it so dearly is because of, is that her name? I forget. Anyways, because everyone has like 10 names and that's one of the main issues I have is that it's really hard for me to recognize people. A lot of them are drawn very similarly, which is hard. Can you guys see how swollen this cheek is? But I just love the main character because it constantly talks about how she's been through such hard times, but she's always happy and positive and smiling. And that's like what my whole life goal is, <laughs> no matter what I've been through, to still be happy and still love life and enjoy my time here on earth that's brief. You know, that's just because when you've hit rock bottom, you know how to appreciate what you do have. And it ended so lovely. It, and this is not like a spoiler of any type, but it says, no matter how cold it is right now, the snow will melt. It always does. It always does. Just basically meaning when snow melts, what does it become? It becomes spring. Spring will always come. No matter how cold it is now, spring will always come. It's magical, isn't it? And I just love that, um, what it represents. So that's what I'm doing for now. I need to go pick up my car from the dealership because it's done and I don't want to move because I'm in pain and I want to eat. So my day has consisted mostly of me sitting here when I wasn't playing with my nephew. And so I've made it to season four, episode 10 of Breaking Bad. And it's so good. And the, the how episode nine ended. Oh my God, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Also, I need to go take some medicine because my mouth is killing me. I read a bunch more of the Black Coast. So I'm at 80%. I am like 78% of the way through the fellowship. I'm making good progress. So I'm gonna go shower and listen to Children of Dune. That's all for now. Despite me having a terrible hair day 
and having an extremely swollen face from having my wisdom tooth extracted two days ago. I wanted to show you guys these new glasses I got um, because I'm working with Zim, the glasses company, and they're not paying me to do this, but they did send me these glasses in exchange for a review on the channel and a discount code for you guys. So I will link all of that below because I only talk about products that I actually really like on my channel. I've talked about such few things in the past, but if you guys have been following my journey recently, you will know that I've been having bad anxiety from possibly all the computer time I spend editing and reading on my Kindle. So I had gotten some blue light blocking glasses from my mom, but they didn't have my prescription in them. So this company reached out to me and asked if they could send me some glasses to unbox on my channel and see what I thought. So they have a really wide variety of styles, but also like super trendy, unique styles of glasses that I don't see that often, which I liked. Um, I went, I played it a little bit more on the safe side, but they have some really cool like aviator styles that I wanted, but I am thrilled with these. So they are blue light blocking and they also have my prescription in them which is perfect for reading at night. So I thought I'd share it here because so many of us are readers that wear glasses that spend time on the computer or screens where we need that blue light blocking technology that I have found really helped my eyes and my anxiety recently. I'll put a picture in of the styles of these glasses, but I'm really excited about both of them. So these are the first pair. And I think they're super cute. The name will be down below, but they're the round green version. So the frames are actually like a, a clear-ish green. I just think they're really cute and like subtle color because I don't like super bright colors on my face anymore, even though I occasionally still wear them. I just think that this style works really nicely. They have that technology on their website too, where you can like upload a picture of your face to see how the frames fit. Believe that both of the styles that I got are large style frames because I think I have a big head and I like when the glasses are wide. I don't like narrow glasses on my face. Here they are. I think they're really cute. So this is the first pair and I was already wearing them, reading in them last night. Super happy. These are the Hectate clear ones and i also think these are really cute too they're super big frames again which i like and i just think they're lovely i just think these ones especially are more unique and i don't like see them as frequently as the other ones so these are the second pair the other thing that's really nice about these you guys will have to let me know which ones you like better this one or this one i'm super thrilled that my prescription is in them because I have astigmatism in my right eye. I don't have a, a large prescription at all, at all, but I'm so thankful for how light they are because I have a really expensive pair of glasses and they're so heavy on my face and they pinch my nose so bad that it constantly feels like my face is like falling forward. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. But once again, I will put all of the discount codes for you in the description box in case you guys wanna check them out for yourself. I wouldn't be talking about it if I didn't like this company and think that they have great, reasonable, affordable prices for a really nice product. Like I was actually super excited when I got these in the mail. I couldn't wait for them to come in. To be honest, I was more pleased with them than I thought I would be. So I'm very excited to have these. And their packaging is all recycled material, which from my environmental self makes me really happy. I would like to point out that I have a king size bed and this is the amount of the bed I'm getting right now off the bed because cat, cat, cat. We can't disturb them. Can't disturb the babies. Really the king size bed is for them and I'm on the edge. That's, that's normal though, right? To smush yourself over this far. Okay, so before I shower after work, cause I'm very tired because I've lost so much sleep from this tooth pain. I'll give the wisdom tooth update for you guys because you guys were so sweet asking. Um, the swelling is going down. I can still only like half smile because it really hurts back there, obviously. But yeah, I don't know. It was, it was farther in my sinus than they thought it was going to be. So last night I had my doctor, um, basement life. I had my doctor flush it out, put dry socket paste in it, and then we started antibiotics yesterday morning. And it feels a million times better today. So on the up and up. I went to my house and they start tile, so that's phenomenal. Love to see more progress. Still reading Children of Dune. No, I finished Children of Dune this morning, I think. And oh my God, obsessed. 
So then I started Alice in Wonderland because my Patreon did a poll and The Great Gatsby and Alice in Wonderland were tied. So Alice in Wonderland was winning for the longer time. So I chose that one and I'm obsessed with it. And then I'm reading The Devil Under the Dark Water, which is like a mystery set in the 1600s with like a ship setting. We're learning everyone's like roles and who the captains are and the guards and like governor and wife and that type of thing. And there's like this curse type of situation. And I will update you guys once I've read more, but I love it so far and it's really, really good. I'm just doing my nightly reading, a chapter of The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. And I wanted to give my two cents on the chapter Farewell to Lorien, which has been one of my favorite chapters of the entire book so far. And I'm not quite sure why. I love how he names his chapters. And I don't know, it was just something so, so, so like breathtaking about this chapter, as weird as that may seem. So I don't really think this is spoilery, but it does talk about them leaving a certain place and people they met. So um, I only have 30 pages left in The Fellowship of the Ring. So I suppose if you're super sensitive to spoilers, don't listen to this but in my opinion it's not a spoiler so I'm just giving you fair warning now but Gimli is talking to Legolas and basically he's crying and upset as they're leaving Lorien and he says I have looked the last upon that which was fairest he said to Legolas tell me Legolas why did I come on this quest little did I know where the chief peril lay truly Elrond spoke saying that we could not foresee what we might meet upon our road Torment in the dark was the danger that I feared, and it did not hold me back, but I would not have come had I known the danger of light and joy. Ugh, that just gets me. Now I have taken my worst wound in this parting, even if I were to go this night straight to the Dark Lord. Alas, for Gimli, son of Glowin. Nay, said Legolas, alas for us all, and for all that walk the world in these after days, for such is the way of it, to find and lose as seems to those who whose boat is on the running stream. But I count you blessed, Gimli, son of Glowin, for your loss you suffer of your own free will, and you might have chosen otherwise, but you have not forsaken your companions, and the least reward that you shall have is that the memory of Lothlorien shall remain ever clear and unstained in your heart, and shall neither fade nor grow stale. Maybe, said Gimli, and I thank you for your words, true words doubtless, yet all such comfort is cold. Memory is not what the heart desires. <sighs> That is only a mirror, be it as clear as Khaled Zaram, or so the heart of Gimli the dwarf. Elves may see things otherwise. Indeed, I have heard that for them memory is more like to the waking world than to a dream. Not so for dwarves. But let us talk no more of it. So the reason I love that so much is just the, the human relatability part where you've seen something so beautiful, you've held something so wonderful that you've truly cherished and loved and to know that it's gone and you have only the memory left of it the memory is not enough and you almost wish you didn't have the memory because you can never have the thing back again if you get what i'm saying i feel like other people will relate to this as well but like these are just my little takeaways of when i read this is the type of reader i am like this is what i look for yeah the world building is stunning and the characters are amazing and the history and lore and everything is cool, but these are the moments that make it breathtaking and I have just absolutely loved this chapter. I can't get over waking up to them, how precious they are. Right by my pillow. They're the cutest. Hello friends. I just finished some live reading sprints with my friends in Patreon who I love and adore so much. They're my favorite people. And I'm so thankful for them in this community and they brightened my night up a whole bunch but I have some things to say about today's events regarding a favorite author of mine I'm shook I'm kind of choose your words wisely Brit real disappointed now I've word that this very unique wonderful opportunity that we've had to interact with said favorite author seems it will be no more as they stated i kind of just want to say are you happy now that you took away something really unique and special and incredible away from true true fans you know i i i'm so glad i had the chance to post my video and share it with him so that he could see how this series has saved people's lives and changed people 
changed the way they see the world, made them to be more empathetic and compassionate human beings. I'm so glad I got to share those things with him before he won't be engaging anymore in the community. I'm mad, I'm upset, and I'm really disappointed. And it makes me not be proud to be a part of this community, to be honest, of whatever book too says it is because it seems like a lot lately on the topic of cancel culture and not allowing anyone to believe different than you it's just not something i'm proud to associate myself with so i'm very distraught and i know that some people don't care at all but this is one of my favorite authors this is an extremely intelligent man that i admire greatly that I wish I had a fraction of his intelligence <laughs> that I think is a brilliant mastermind. Yeah, I'm a fangirl, but I've also had very positive interactions with this human being because at the end of the day, they are a human being. I'm not speaking on behalf of anyone or any person whatsoever. I would just like it to be known and heard that the Malazan community is full of wonderful, kind human beings who are encouraging who have deep thought-provoking conversation, who have different interests and come in many different forms. And of course, there's always going to be a few people who give other people a bad name, always. And I've had interactions with those people in the community. I would just hate for the Malazan community to be looked down upon or people to think that they're better than other people because the Malazan community is full of wonderful kind human beings in the majority so i'll die on that hill i've been watching breaking bad while i've been painting my nails getting ready to film the amount of times they put walt in his tidy whities <laughs> can't i'm glad that today for filming my swelling has gone down significantly but that's all for now and the way that jesse just took charge that was a great scene I make my bed every day, but on, on days I'm doing laundry and washing sheets I don't. And we've got Collikins, Kiki Lulu, Ronnie Bear. I'm not going to try to pet Owl over there because she's not going to let me, but, you know, she's living her best life. That's what we're doing. I started Winter's Heart this morning, and it is just soothing my soul, and it is making my heart so happy. And some interesting things have already happened. I'm annoyed already, for sure annoyed already, but some interesting things have happened too. So that's good. I'll update you more about that later. Three and four hour rides under your belt, I would say before you go to that, because you don't realize how hard that's gonna, well, you did a 60 mile ride, right, remember? Yeah, 65 miles. Okay. Little wave hello. I just look at these trees so much. I'm just here to say that every time I go to film a wrap up, I start out the wrap up and I say, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. And I sit down to edit it with this girl. And it's 52 minutes of footage. I don't even like talking that much but I just really like books. So um, I've been taking some time for myself this weekend and I will update you guys probably tomorrow. It's Sunday, it's Easter today and I'm trying to stay out of everything this weekend so that I can have peace of mind and happiness. And so I'll update you guys soon. Hello, it's been a minute. It's Easter Sunday. Everybody just went home, family left. We got to do a Easter egg hunt with my nephew today and it was like the most precious thing ever. He has been finding pine cones under the trees for the longest time now. So he really, really enjoyed hunting for the Easter eggs under the pine trees and it was so cute to see. So it was fabulous. And I got like a little bit of sunshine, which felt great. So I was looking down cause I was like hoping I wasn't burnt. So I've been so exhausted lately, I think cause I lost so much sleep from when I had my wisdom teeth out. And then I lost a whole bunch of sleep or pointless things that are silly on YouTube. Um, and I don't mean that in a light way. They're not pointless. I wanted to update you guys on what I'm reading because I'm reading really good books right now. So I finished The Devil in the Dark Water this morning and I really liked my overall experience. Now, when we got to the initial reveal at the end, 
I had mixed feelings. I wasn't sure what I thought of it. And I, I gave it a four out of five stars. But as things started to unfold even more, it came together a bit more and I ended up liking it more. So I gave it a four out of five stars still and was okay with how it ended rather than being let down. So I'm not a mystery person, so I can't tell you if it was like a good mystery in the world of the mystery genre. But for me, it was an atmospheric read. I loved the characters and the atmosphere, the historical setting and the setting on the ship out at sea. That's what did it for me. So it was a great time. Now I'm gonna start reading School for Good and Evil, the latest book that came out um, last year, I think, because I'm still not caught up on that. And it's a middle grade and it's one of my favorite middle grade series. So I'm really excited to get caught up and read some of that and just have a good like lighthearted fun time reading a middle grade book. I'm also going to start The Two Towers here very soon. And I'm listening to Winter's Heart by Robert Jordan, which is the ninth Wheel of Time book. And it's already immensely better than book eight. So I've talked to a couple friends that kind of are similar with me and they said that the eighth book was their least favorite and then it got better. I know this is still part of the slog. Either way, I'm just hopeful going forward in knowing that I think the worst is out of the way and I'm like 32% of the way and I'm really enjoying it. So that's good news because I'm a decent chunk of the way in and I haven't been bored really one time yet. It's a really comforting read for me. So it's like something, it's just like going home, being with all these characters, feels like home. It feels comforting feels very, what's the word? It's just soothing my soul, I guess. So yeah, I'm just like kind of taking a step back from engaging in some things and some areas of my life that will be good for my mental health and just evaluating some things that make me feel good and stuff like that. Oh, that's all, it's very vague, but I always update you guys. So, and then I started Invisible Women, which is I think, data bias in a world built for men or something like that close to the title it's a nonfiction book my friend amanda told me to check hoopla so i did get it in through the library and i'm so excited it's very upsetting already i'm barely into it and it's already very upsetting it's infuriating but very important so that's my nonfiction. told you my audiobook which is winter's heart told you what i finished told you what i'm gonna start oh and i want to finish a silent voice volume one and possibly start the next one the anime I've been watching lately is Fruits Basket and rewatching Castlevania and mildly watching bits of Breaking Bad in between. So I'm getting like caught up on some things at a Pathfinders game this week, which is just super fun and refreshing and I don't know, much needed for my mental health. I don't know, it's just a good, I got to go meet my friend at the bar, got to be around family all weekend and I'm filming with Jessica tomorrow because we both have the day off work on a Monday, which is super rare. So this is a very lengthy vlog clip, but just wanted to give a little update about where I'm at and that's all. I haven't read a quote in a minute and this is from the two towers and it says there are some things that it is better to begin than to refuse even though the end may be dark and I don't know why but I just really liked that line we just have a little tile update it's very messy but my black hexagon tile the grout is black even though it doesn't look like it and the shower update I'm all obsessed with this combination isn't it so cute? Look how dirty it is. But this is gonna be a clear wall, glass wall. Love it. Yeah, we have some cabinets. They still have to do all the trim and everything, but crown molding, floating shelves, sink will be there. Look at the size of this island, you guys. Crazy, because I will have trash and recycling and I don't like the microwave that goes over the stove because I want a range hood, so the microwave's going there. But when you step back, I swear to God, it's like eight feet. It's crazy big. It doesn't look like it from here, but it is. And those are my doors. Hello. Well, this light is just spectacular for you guys. Um, so hopefully you saw some clips of my house and the progress. We walked over tonight. They are doing the septic, cabinets, all kinds of stuff. Um, still always things to fix and problems occurring but it's a process it'll get finished um some updates on reading i'm still only like a chapter into invisible women i've been so sleepy at night lately i haven't had time to listen to it because as soon as i get done with my stuff for the day i read my chapter of the two towers i am like beat and 
I fall asleep. So I haven't had time to listen to my nonfiction book. I am just over halfway through Winter's Heart and I think it's so charmingly cute and I love it so far and I'm having a great time reading it and overall wonderful reading experience because of the character interactions that are taking place right now between like our MVP characters. So like because I like the characters we're talking about, I don't care that it's slow moments. So honestly, I'm just having a great time anytime that I'm listening to it and I will absolutely go right into Crossroads of Twilight because I hear that's the bad one and I can get out of the way and a very beloved character that I love so 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 much is back right now. So happy about that. And then my ebook is still the middle grade that I'm loving. So not too much to update with that. I'm hoping to read a bit of manga tonight. I'm going to continue editing and getting that done and out of the way, but I just want to do a quick little update and let you guys look at my nightly view because this is why I live on this patio. Once it gets nice enough outside, I can't believe I'm in a tank top in Michigan today. It's crazy, but how can you just like, uh, you guys, this view, it makes me so happy. It makes me the happiest. <laughs> I just want you guys to look at it. My daily reading of Two Towers for you guys. So, I mean, this is a section from the Two Towers from Tree Bard specifically. And um, Pippin was trying to describe his first impression of the trees. And he says, one felt as if there was an enormous wall behind them, filled up with ages of memory and long, slow, steady thinking. But their surface was sparkling with the present, like the sun shimmering on the outer leaves of a vast tree or on the ripples of a very deep lake. I don't know, but it felt as if something that grew in the ground, asleep you might say, or just feeling itself as something between root tip and leaf tip, between deep earth and sky, had suddenly waked up and was considering you with the same slow care it had given to its own inside affairs for endless years. I just think that's beautiful about forests and nature in general. So I love that passage. And one more here, this specific line from Tree tree beard um they're talking about trees they're talking about gandalf oh hold on it's the next page and did you know gandalf yes i do know him the only wizard that really cares about trees said tree beard did you know him and that is when i felt i knew i loved gandalf okay so it is time to wrap up this vlog and no real reading progress has happened because it is just a year of me not forcing myself to read and it's fabulous and i only read when i want to and i don't spend every spare second reading anymore and it's giving me so much peace. So I haven't finished any books since I've last talked to you guys. I have made progress in all of them, in School for Good and Evil, in Winter's Heart, in Invisible Women, in Two Towers. I do actually have to make note that Two Towers being so much more fast paced already and uh, what we're seeing with Mary and Pippin right now, even though I know the story, it's just such a lovely time and so that reread for me this month is really doing it. Just this actual, the whole year of Lord of the Rings read along for my channel. It's doing it, friends. It's where it's at. It's making me so happy. So I did want to take some time to go back and read a couple quotes from The Devil in the Dark Water by Stuart Turton that I didn't before because I had these on my phone, these screenshots from when I was biking in the mornings to read you guys for forever and I just never did but I think it gives a good idea of like the vibe of the book so definitely abuse is a theme in this violence against women but I loved this quote so this is just going to be a big section of quote reading I love this quote and it says I'm going to black out names but it's a shame your mother is wonderful but she suits your father ill why and this person is saying because he doesn't need a partner she said at last he needs a wife and your mother doesn't need a husband she needs a partner is that why he beats her i think so admitted her is that why he hurt her so badly she couldn't walk and they were just having conversations about marriage at this point so as i said they were definitely themes of abuse and marriage and things of the nature that i think are very important and the topic was handled with care in my opinion. So this is another one of uh, two women having a conversation about being in love with their husbands or not. And she's saying she's her mother's daughter because she wants to be in love in order to get married. So she says, love can be feigned, dear heart. You can even convince yourself of it if you try hard enough, but it's impossible to spend an imaginary fortune. Marriage is an inconvenient convenience. It is the shackle we accept for our safety, which is just says so much about the time that this book was written in and the way that women felt 
forced into these marriages and relationships for things even like comfort and safety and food and their well-being to not be raped or abused or to have shelter it's disgusting so this is something that really spoke to me since i have a past of trauma and abuse and i won't say the character that it's about i don't think it's spoilery in any way but the thought of her friend's stubbornness lit a fierce pride in her any other woman would have submitted to his demands without complaint believing it worth the life offered in return not her though throughout the beatings scoldings humiliations and tantrums she'd held strong like a block of stone refusing to yield to the sculptor's hammer many a night she had arrived to find him raging against his obstinate wife, revealing a passion he would be mortified to show in public. All these long years, his arrogance had convinced him he was tormenting her, but she knew it was the other way around. This person was the only enemy he'd never be able to best. I just... The strength of the character, the female character represented in this book, is very well done. I loved this too. This conversation and the woman, the strong female presence is saying, nobody's trusted me with anything more pressing than small talk for a very long time. And the man is saying, I can't do this alone. I don't know how. And you have a knack for asking the right questions. I'd like your help if, you, if you'd give it. And she's saying, most men say this isn't women's work. And the man is saying, my father was one of them. He admitted, he taught me that women were frail creatures purposely crippled by God that men might prove their virtue in protecting them. <sighs> Sounded right enough until I went to war and saw men pleading for their lives while women swung hoes at the knights trying to take their land. His tone hardened. Strong is strong and weak is weak and it doesn't matter if you wear breeches or skirts if you're the latter. Life will hammer you flat. I like this quote because there's quite a bit of talk about religion and the devil and things of that nature and this just says he's one of the characters is remembering something and he says he knew there was no god waiting no devil no saints or sinners there were only people and the stories they told themselves people gave the heavens a voice so they had something to ask for a better harvest a healthy child or a milder winter god was hope and mankind needed hope the way it needed warmth food and ale but hope came with a disappointment and i love that so much okay last one sorry this is so many but this is why i read and this is what I love about reading. So this is what you get here. <laughs> Another conversation where somebody's saying, you don't believe in devils to one of the characters. And he says, don't see the use of them. I've never seen one standing over a dead child. I ain't never seen one ravage a woman or set fire to a hut with a family still inside. You've been on the battlefield. You know what men are when there's nobody ordering them to be better. They don't need the devil whispering suggestions in their ear. Evil comes from in here. He hammered his chest. It's born in us. It's what we are when you take away the uniforms and the ranks and the order. And then this woman is thinking she hadn't needed a battlefield to teach her that lesson. Her entire life had been, had been spent in study of men, not from love or admiration, as was the proper way for a woman, but from fear. Men were dangerous. They were fickle of mood, liable to lash out when disappointed, and they were frequently disappointed most often by their own shortcomings, though only a fool would tell them as much. So... There's just my little two cents on the <laughs> sexism and the pushback and the conversation and the way that this book is represented is a representation of the 1600s and just some great male and female characters all around. And it was lovely. So that's how I wanted to end the vlog today since I didn't have too much else to say. Um, I think they've done some more on my house today, but we had a thunderstorm, so I didn't get to go over there and check it out because it's... <laughs> They, they did some of the grading and it's level and it's dirt everywhere and now it's mud everywhere. So I can't go over there. Um, but tomorrow I will. So for the next vlog, friends, we'll be getting some updates because they're going to have doors in. They're going to have trim done. They're going to have my vanities in. They're going to have cabinets done. I'm going to have countertops. A lot is happening. So stay tuned if you're interested in my random house updates, which I realize this is a reading vlog. So probably most people don't care, but I'm getting so excited. And let's take a little poll. Which anime should I get caught up on? Which anime movie should I watch next? I really want to watch a movie because I get really overwhelmed with the amount of episodes in TV shows. So tell me which anime movie I should watch. Give me the peace sign emoji. If you're still here at the end of this vlog and I hope that you all have a lovely weekend. Enjoy your Friday friends and I hope the weather is nice where you are and you can get outside and get some fresh air and get some reading done and feel at peace. And I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.